Hello, it is Miss Morgan, and this is a little video to tell you about the Civics Performance Task MCAS test. So this is the MCAS that you will take on the first day, and there will be 11 questions. There um, are going to be some open response type questions and on this day of the MCAS and not the second day. So 11 questions. The topic that we got that your questions will be about is freedom of the press and news media literacy, which I feel kind of lucky because I feel like that's um, a pretty doable topic. Uh, I guess we'll find out once you have to answer the questions. So this picture here shows you something that would have been done in class, um, like if a teacher chose to do this in class this is this is how it's set up so the computer version will look a little different but you can see here there is a political cartoon and then there's supposed to be a you answer a question about it so uh my guess is when you take the test there'll be a variety of sources and they are looking to see if you understand the type of source and what type of information it gives. And can you look at the source and, you know, figure out what information is trying to be conveyed through the source. So in this case, it's a political cartoon. Um, a political cartoon is, here's a definition. It's basically, just like it looks a cartoon a drawing that makes a statement uh, expresses a person's opinion on politics or current events so the slide the previous slide was about uh, sidewalks right and having better sidewalks and this one is about the idea of having a longer school year what kids you know would really be scared of besides ghosts and vampires, not those, the longer school year. Anyway, all right, so that's what a political cartoon is. And my guess is there's going to definitely be some type of political cartoon on the test. But I'm really just guessing, don't know for sure. Okay, so with the political cartoon in this case, from the sample um, activity, it has the cartoon, and then it wants you to talk about if you were doing this, the point of view of the cartoonist, like what do they think about this issue? And so that's specific to the drawing. And then number two is just uh, asking you to think about what would happen to political cartoons if freedom of the press was not protected under law. So freedom of the press is like uh, a newspaper or an online source, uh, an online newspaper, or just anything uh i guess like that so uh they just want you to draw a conclusion because political cartoons express an opinion and so if there wasn't freedom of the press obviously there'd be more control over what information and what opinions make it to the press make it into a newspaper or another an online news source and so they're trying to figure out if you realize that because we have freedom of the press, a variety of opinions are able to be expressed in our country. Okay, so another type of source that my guess is you'll have to look at is a news article, which is just like it sounds, right? Information about a topic. Okay, so something that we haven't really talked about is something called op-ed, and I think it's like an opinion editorial. I, I should look up the what it's a short for, but it's basically someone's opinion about a topic. Um, so we have here, here's a definition, a short newspaper column that represents a strong, informed, and focused opinion of the writer on an issue. So someone's expressing their opinion about a topic and similar to a political cartoon there's a viewpoint that is expressed in the op-ed so um my guess is they're gonna have a source similar to this where it's like a short newspaper article about someone's opinion and then there's facts in the op-ed from the writer here's 
I'm almost positive they will have some type of source that's a graph that you have to interpret and look at and look for information, see if you can understand what the graph is showing, uh, because there, I'm almost positive there's going to be a mix of like written sources with like with all words like this was right like this and this oops same thing uh this so see it's just all word based and then the other the the political cartoon would be visual and this type of uh these graphics and this chart would be uh, more visual than written all right so we got that we have social media posts so i feel like they would definitely try to include social media posts. And here we have two public interest groups. So they, a public interest group is going to have like a specific viewpoint. So let's say there's going to, in life to, in Massachusetts today, there's probably a public interest group that wants to support the ballot question about ending MCAS as a graduation requirement. And there might be a public interest group that is against getting rid of MCAS as a graduation requirement. So it's just like the public interest. There are groups that have a certain opinion on things. So there's going to be a variety of types of sources and they're going to want to see, do you understand what kind of information is, can be found in those sources. So this is not what you're going to have to do on the MCAS. Uh, this would be a handout if uh, we were doing this in class and you were Going through all these, you would fill this out, but it will not be this open-ended on the MCAS. I'm almost positive, and I hope it's not because it's it's a little much, uh, but who knows? All right, so this is just gonna be a quick look at how this might look online. And there will be some multiple choice questions like this one. Now, this is not the topic that we are having that you're going to answer questions on. This topic is development of the U.S. Constitution. That is not our topic. But see, there is a multiple choice drop down question. Here is a uh, letter um, written by James Madison from 1787. I do not think you're going to have like an old source, like the primary source like this because of our topic. So this is just a sample of a source. We have, um, a drag and drop. And if you look at the circle up here, that is showing you can expand the letter or the question. I don't know. I just clicked on this one here and it expanded the letter and made it, it, fill up the whole screen. So that is a tool that is in the test in case that's useful. Um, here's another one. Here's a multiple choice question about the same source that was here. Okay. Just different types of questions. This one is drag and drop. This one is multiple choice. And this one is a writing question. You would write in the box and I'm sure the directions will say nothing you write outside the box will be part of your score and blah, 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 blah. All right, so there's going to be probably a source with different types of questions. Uh, this would be, you would fill out if this was your question, you would obviously click the appropriate dot. Again, this is not our topic that you're going to be answering questions on. It's about the Constitution. Yours is going to be about news media literacy. I'm just trying to show the different sources and different types of questions you might have. So here is a writing question for that graph. Here is another demonstration of expanding the sources or the screen. And this one has four, looks like short answer, open-ended writing questions. So who knows how many of that will, there will be on your test, 11 questions if you look up here. And that is, those are just how the information and questions might be presented on the performance ta task civics MCAS. Okay, so I'm going to end with showing you that I have tried to give you some questions from the practice MCAS tests um, that are available online. So like this one was from a practice MCAS that I tweaked. Oopsie. I, I like adjusted to, um, to, I, to put on a quiz. Okay, so I took this picture and the wording of some MCAS practice questions and tried to present it like you might see it on the MCAS. So that is that. I hope this information was helpful and I'm sure you're going to try your best and do a good job and that's all you can do. And so I just wanted to 
kind of show you what the format might, might look like when you do the first round of MCAS. And that's all I got. Hope you have a good rest of your day. Bye.